I love flying. I mean, the sense, I don't know what it is. I think there's something endorphin wise when you have a negative G or something. I don't know what it is, but I love the sense of being airborne. Um, there's nothing like it in the world. It just feels like you're kind of like a feather drifting on a gust of wind. You just glide through the air. It's, it's almost effortless and it's um, exhilarating and it's almost like a state of meditation. It clears your mind so much. As soon as you lift the ground, you can't think about anything else. Flying. I love it. And I love all forms of flying. We are here at Moffett Federal Airfield at NASA Ames for the final fly-off of the GoFly Prize. GoFly is a $2 million multinational competition where we have invited the world's innovators to create the flying devices of our childhood dreams. The GoFly Prize is really a stepping stone. It's incredibly important because it's really one of the first prizes where we're trying to achieve a cost-efficient personal air vehicle with a very small footprint. It's the first step. And I know everybody out there wants something that they're going to be able to buy tomorrow and, and fly to Target. But we're not there yet. And so you have to take those baby steps. Go Fly is the first prize. I think there'll be others and each one will continue to push the forefront of what we're able to achieve so that maybe not in 10 years, but in 15 to 20 years, we'll deliver on that Jetsons promise. All of us at GoFly are so proud of our teams. They have been working for two and a half years, perfecting their flyers. They have met challenges along the way, both technical and all other business matters. And the fact that they are here is a testament to their endurance. And we're proud to announce, after careful deliberation, the winner of the $100,000 Pratt & Whitney Disruptor Award is Tetra from Tokyo, Japan.